But it's really nice to be here, and, and I will add my thanks to those of each and every coach, I'm sure, that stands here and, and the two athletes. I think when you listen to Monica and to Lee, you understand what we really are all about, and that's producing the best students, athletes, and people of any school in the country. Um, the opportunity that you provide for us to bring outstanding young men and women to this university is uh, without a doubt one of your greatest gifts to humanity and, and there's no other way for me to say other than thank you. Uh, I've been fortunate to be at Virginia for a while. Um, it's my alma mater so f for any coach to have the opportunity to spend as much time at, at their school as I have um, is unique. It's, it's very special. And to, to be here this evening with so many other great coaches and, and share some time with you, I appreciate it. Uh, Lee and I were driving d down from Charlottesville and he said, have you had time to really think about the season that we had? And I told Lee, honestly, I haven't spent 10 minutes thinking about what happened. I've been on the road recruiting um, quite a bit since we finished our season. Uh, both for the spring period coming up uh, or that we're currently in and for next year and it really hasn't dawned on me to look back. Um, I'm driven by the fear of losing. Um, so uh, I haven't had a chance to stop and take a deep breath and think about really what these two teams have had accomplished. So Lee pulled out a piece of paper and a pen and he said, well, let me write some things down for you so you have some statistics. Um, I don't know if I can read his writing. He may have gotten a couple of degrees from Virginia, but I'm not sure if he can write. His mother can, though. Uh, for our men's team, this was the, our 10th ACC championship in the last 11 years. followed that up with our highest ever NCAA championship finish of ninth place. Um, four of our athletes were selected to first team as first team All-Americans and seven of our men were honorable mention All-Americans. Um, we had 11 male athletes who were all ACC performers. We broke four of the five all-time ACC relay records. Um, we broke an additional 10 ACC records in sw of the 18 swimming events this year, and we currently hold 12 um, of the 18 possible records. Um, the ladies um, won their fourth ACC championship in the last seven years. Um, they finished 12th at the NCAA championship. Um, they too had four first team All-Americans uh, six honorable mention All-Americans, 12 All-ACC performers, uh, to which Lee said, I guess the men's team's got to find spot for one more next year. Um, we won all five relays at the ACC championships, broke all five ACC relay records. Um, their women currently hold 11 all-time ACC records, and this year they broke 14 team records out of a possible 18 events. So it's the first time I've really had a chance to think about the kind of season we had. And as Lee was writing and I, I was driving and, and he was saying, did you know this? Did you realize, did you think about that? And I said, no, no Lee, I haven't had a chance to really condense it and, and think about what a great season you athletes had. And it's, it's not anything special that the coaches do. What is special is and I think Monica alluded to it first when she said the chemistry, the bond, and the family. And I think that's what our athletic department does, and that's what Craig teaches us from the top. We're, we take care of one another, um, we worry about our teams, our team is our family, and we do everything we can to ensure as much success department-wide as we possibly can. And to me, that's, that's the probably one of the greatest organizational structures that you can possibly have. And I think we all as coaches 
try to live it, and we all try to support one another. And as athletes, I know that all the athletes consistently and constantly are there for one another, regardless of their team, supporting each other at their contests, and helping each other re you know, reach the highest level of excellence that, that they possibly can, not just as athletes, but as people and as students. And that's what the University of Virginia stands for. And I'm honored and I'm privileged to be able to be a small part of that. So again, thank you for all you've done, for your continued support. Um, and we'll look forward to bringing home some more championships down the road here. Thanks.